In this video, we will learn about the exact differential equations and their solutions. So, given a function of two variables, f, y, t, its total differential can be written as d f y t is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y times d y plus uh, partial derivative of f with respect to t d t. Okay, when this uh, total differential is set to equal to zero, we call this as exact differential equation. Why? Because it is left side is exactly the differential of this function f y t okay so in general a differential equation m dy plus n dt is equal to zero in place of m we have del f upon del y and in place of n we have del f upon del t when we set it equal to zero it is an exact differential equation equation if and only if there exists a function f y t okay such that m is equal to del f upon del y this very thing plus uh, uh, sorry and n is equal to del f upon del t that is this thing and when the partial derivative of m with respect to t is exactly equal to the partial derivative of n uh, with respect to y we say the given equation is exact okay so let's take a numerical example let us say we are being given an equation and by the way, uh, the solution of an exact differential equation calls for successive integration with respect to one independent variable at a time while holding other independent variables constant. And we will see how it happens. Let us say we are being given this very differential equation 6yt plus 9y square uh, dy is plus uh, 3y square plus 8t dt is equal to 0. We want to solve this very differential equation. First step is to test whether it is an exact differential equation or not okay so this thing is our m and this denotes our n okay now i have written in m is equal to 6yt plus 9y square and n is this term okay mm, to find whether it is an exact a or not this condition must hold that means we take the partial derivative of m with respect to t so if when we take the partial derivative here with respect to t derivative of t is uh, 1 so we are left with 6y only derivative of 9y square will be 0 because we are taking the derivative with respect to t partially okay uh, symmetrically uh, we take the partial derivative of n with respect to y here uh, n is equal to 3y square plus 8t derivative of 3y square will be 6y uh, derivative of 8t will be 0 because we are taking partial derivative with respect to y here you can see del m upon del t is equal to 6y del n upon del y is equal to 6y and this condition has been met that means del m upon del t is exactly equal to del n upon del y we can say that the given differential equation is exact okay so we can if this condition was not met then it was not an exact differential equation second step is what we do uh, since m m is x uh, you know uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to y our m is equal to del f upon del y and let me write it here first our m is equal to del f upon del y okay and n is equal to del f upon del t okay uh, since our m is equal to del f upon del y what we do we integrate this m partially with respect to y holding t constant and we add a new additive term zt okay so this is our m is equal to del f upon del y okay we integrate m and m is equal to 6yt plus 9y square we you know integrate this m with respect to y holding t constant and we add uh, a new additive term that is zt for any additive terms of t which would have been eliminated 
by the original differentiation with respect to y when this was uh, you know differentiated with respect to y any t term would have got vanished for that we have added this zd for the constant of integration you can uh, you know say loosely here so then our fyt means taking the you know integrating this function partially with respect to y and adding this additive term so when we integrate 6yt we will get 3y square uh, t plus the uh, integral of 9y square will be 3y cube plus this additive term after that we differentiate this you know we differentiate this function and this second function uh, with respect to t this time that means df we want to find out del f upon del t so when we take uh, the derivative of this function with respect to t we get 3 y square plus the derivative of z t will be z prime t okay now we know that del f upon del t is equal to n okay and here you can see i have shown it del f upon del t is equal to n and n is equal to 3y square plus 8t here you can see if this is equal to this n is equal to 3y square plus 8t what we do we substitute this into equation third so equation third is uh, this term 3y square plus zt okay so since del f upon del t is equal to n so in place of n we write 3y square plus 8t so 3y square plus 8t is equal to 3y square plus z dash t okay we equate these two 3y square and 3y square gets cancelled that means z prime t t is equal to 8t after that what we do we integrate this z prime t with okay uh, with respect to t to find any missing terms of t okay so when we integrate this z prime we will get z t is equal to the integral of z prime t so z prime t is equal to a t so a t dt derivative of a t will be 4 t square by power function rule of integration so we got the value of z t is equal to this 4 t okay now we substitute 4 equation 4 in second so this was our second equation and we add the uh, you know constant of integration so we have this very thing this very thing we were uh, you know trying to find out z t and we got the value of z t is equal to 4 t square and let me write it here 4 t square that means this will be the solution of this exact differential equation okay so let me repeat it again so if this was our uh, differential equation we write this thing equal to m and this thing equal to n after that we take the partial derivative of m with respect to t and partial derivative of n with respect to y if these partial derivatives are equal to each other which is the case here then it is an exact differential equation after that what we do when this condition is being met we integrate m partially with respect to y holding t constant and add a function z t which will subsume all the additive terms of t which would have been eliminated in the original differentiation of this y okay so when we integrate this we add this uh, you know z t term we get this very thing after that we differentiate this th this function partially with respect to t we got this term we know del f upon del t is equal to n and n is equal to this we uh, you know equate or substitute this value into equation third so 3y square 3y square gets cancelled we are left with z prime t is equal to uh, you know at after that we integrated again to get the missing terms of t that means we want to find out z t our endeavor was to find out this very term for that we have taken this very thing whole stuff here so z t will be equal to the integral of z prime t 
which we get here 40 square after that substitute the value of zt into equation second to get the solution of this exact differential equation i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you